Hi, I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish with Skin Packable Dermatology and Cosmetic Laser Center here in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm going to be speaking with you about how to treat underarm sweating. Um, underarm sweating is an annoying problem. Most of us sweat a little bit under, uh, on our underarms uh, and we use antiperspirants and deodorants, but uh, there are a subsection of people who sweat a tremendous amount and it uh, really creates a problem for them in their daily lives. So what are some things that you can do um, to help with that? So firstly, um, if you're overweight, losing weight will help. Um, wearing uh, breathable fabrics such as cotton will also help to um, uh, aerate the area a little better and make that sweating not uh, as intense as otherwise would have been had you worn something uh, made of polyester or wool. Um, obviously, antiperspirants and, and deodorants are helpful, but uh, in the case when somebody has an excessive amount, uh, those just aren't going to do the job. So there are some topical preparations that you can get from your physician. The best one is going to be Drysol. It's a 20% aluminum chloride preparation uh, that is put on nightly. And it does a very good job at reducing the amount of sweating uh, on the underarms. If Drysol doesn't do the job or if, it just, uh, if you still have uh, ongoing sweating and it's annoying, uh, there is Botox. Uh, Botox is commonly used for facial wrinkles, but um, it is also a magnificent treatment for the uh, hyperhidrosis or uh, excessive sweating on the body. So um, generally when we do a Botox injection, uh, we first use the iodine starch uh, kit here. Uh, it's a spe special powder that we put on ahead of time. And uh, when the patient sweats, that, that area or the area with the powder turns purple. So we can tell exactly where uh, the area of sweating is so we don't really go beyond that area of sweating and inject Botox into areas that aren't sweating. We generally use 50 units per underarm. Uh, that's uh, shown to be successful and uh, keeps the sweating away for uh, generally around six months, but it can be a little less, can be more. Beyond Botox, uh, there are two other options. Uh, there are pills that one can take, anticholinergic pills. Uh, they're very poorly tolerated, a lot of side effects, most people hate them. So uh, I really don't prescribe it very much, but in the case where the patient fails dry sol or topical preparations and doesn't do well with Botox, uh, that is an option. If one has failed the topical agents, Botox and the oral pills, there's a last option and that's surgery. Um, the main surgery that's done for uh, axillary or underarm hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating is a sympathectomy in which a surgeon uh, cuts those nerves responsible for the excessive sweating in the underarms. Uh, but that surgery does have some complications and a lot of people who do that surgery have issues that arise from the surgery and those include sweating in other areas of the body and some other problems that uh, really can be quite annoying. So for that reason, we really reserve surgery as a last, last option. I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish, and that is a brief overview of how to treat underarm sweating.